What's going on, Cancer? And welcome to the Chariot and Friends. <laughs> I'm playing around with that Cancer. Justin here, and I hope you're feeling fantastic today. So, for those of you who are returning, welcome back, Soul Tribe. I appreciate your subscriptions, your likes, and shares. Your support really is just amazing, Cancer. And it keeps us growing. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I'm happy Higher Self has brought you here. We're in for an amazing journey. So the purpose of this channel, for those of you who have cancer, your place at Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Saturn, wherever, Cancer, this one's for you. And I do tarot card spreads based so far. Yeah, you know what, I'll pull it from here. Really in the good old moon. I think I haven't pulled out Rhonda in a while, so let's do that. <laughs> and I'll talk about what sign she's in, what phase she's in, and when she's going boy to course, there's all of those lunar shenanigans. And just so you're all aware, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one. -one. So take what resonates with you, leave the rest with me. Never force reading on the situation and everything will be dope, Cancer. Now, let's jump into it. Your space has been cleansed. Crystals. Feeling lovely. <laughs> Just a great angel all around here. Cancer. Hey, Cancer. Well, one, Cancer. <laughs> I was going to say Happy Mercury Day. But actually, that's how fascinating, Cancer, actually. It's Mercury Day today, and Mercury uh, just went retrograde today. So we're uh, <laughs> we're officially in, and I tell you what, I've been feeling like I've been serving up word salad for like the last, at least the last week. It's been kind of on and off there, but man, we're officially in that retrograde time there. Cancers are kind of settling. I, hope, I But I do, I love how that lined up there, that, that, they, that they went retrograde on Mercury Day. But Cancer also, huh, and how funny that they went retrograded. The moon's in Capricorn, Mercury's in Cancer, Cancer. the energies are just lining up in, a, in an interesting way because the moon is in Capricorn along with uh, Mercury. And um, with the moon being in Capricorn, this is a hard work and placement for the moon. You know, this is, Capricorn is one of ambitions and achievement, career, status, reputation. So this is about working on those, um, those long-term goals that you may have for yourself there cancer and having that this is one that requires a lot of patience too with this energy because capricorn is a bit of a slow burn being ruled by saturn you know that deals with time structure disciplines things like that but it's one where we if we keep keep that perseverance that capricorn has you can get really a, a lot accomplished here cancer but the trickiness with this energy is that the moon is in detriment in in capricorn and because like capricorn has a way of they can push their emotions, you know, with us being, we're such an emotional sign, but the, our opposite Capricorn, they tend to, where they, you, you, the, the Capricorns that you may know, Cancer may deny it, but they're a very emotional sign too, but they can put their stuff off a little bit easier to the side than we can, but you want to be careful about that Cancer because if you don't deal with these emotions, and that's with any sign, if you let these, emo that un things that not, aren't dealt with, uh, just not be dealt with. See, look at that. <laughs> Mercury retrograde, I'm gonna blame it for a minute. But um, they that they, those things can fester their cancer. And so, um, yeah, just something you wanna be mindful of there. But this is a very, um, one where we can get a lot of stuff done, be in this disciplined energy and get a lot accomplished there, cancer. And also, we're in a new moon phase. And I like this new moon, when the new moon's in uh, Capricorn because the the moon the new moon phase is a time of planting this of of, of planting seeds there, Cancer, of what you desire. You know, illimitable possibilities. And I feel like being in such a this happening in such a driven sign as Capricorn, this is a great energy to set aside some some things you want to accomplish, so that when we get to the full moon phase around our birthday season. It's, you know, you can kind of see how those, how, and I know that's a little more long term there, Cancer, as opposed to just like the 30 days for the, the lunar cycles, but I feel like it's like you can kind of really like, um, 
really kind of dream big there cancer make your big wish and then it's like how are we get what steps are we going to make each lunar cycle up into that point to get get to that to make that wish kind of manifest there the the new moon is about new beginnings really kind of clarifying your intentions so you know work with this i feel like this is a really kind of strong combination here with this phase and this sign here uh cancer and then I think that's all I got for you. So last little bit there, cancel these uh, these readings that I do. Oh, I think I don't remember to include the, these readings that I do. They're not gender specific readings. So apply these energies to people as they make sense for your situations. And then the decks that I'm working with, which I'm going to include this one. I've included links for them down in the description box below. So definitely check that out if you're interested in cancer. But also down below, some links for some other readers that I like watching there as well. They're cancer. Very, very great energies that they bring. Very powerful insights I feel like they have. And also there's a link for an astrologer that I like watching cancer. So if you wanted to broad your, broaden your knowledge a little bit more, kind of take the pieces that you get from like my channel, maybe Celestia News Monthly, and then her, and like their energy just kind of grow with that astrologically, their cancer, definitely check that out. But let's go ahead and get into your general uh, general energy of the day, their cancer, because check out this earth energy here. You have the, oh, what is this? Med meditation to dig deep there, cancer. And I like this. I feel like this energy here, is kind of asking yourself hmm i like this because i feel like this is asking you to when we're talking with this new moon energy and we're talking about those limitless possibilities it's like really going digging deep there cancer and asking yourself what it is that you truly desire and i like that they have these crystals here because i feel like he's getting ready to do some crystal work bury his crystals maybe so that they can bathe under the the new moon energy that's happening that that's happening tonight uh, maybe in his, in his world who knows cancer but I feel there is this sort of like asking yourself these kind of deeper questions. Am I really doing the things that I want to manifest? And I feel like even too, just kind of this digging deep as far as like learning who who you really are, Cancer. Like, I don't know, like there's, it's this really kind of expansive energy that's coming through here with this digging deep and a needing to kind of get yourself grounded there. Maybe get yourself in sort of like a more like a serene environment in a sense and really kind of ponder these these deeper questions are yourself. You know, am I am I really following my goals here when I'm thinking about the moon and Capricorn? Or, you know, am I um, you know, is this really my truth or However, this may may manifest for you there, Cancer, but I feel when we start to meet ourselves in a deeper type of place, that helps make us powerful healers as well there, Cancer. I'm even getting kind of like a Queen of Cups because I feel like you can only meet others cancer as deeply as you've met yourself and the deeper you go within the more compassion that you that you develop as well in this journey here but i do feel that cancer when you do start doing that 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 digging deep that it is it does it's a little bit of dirty work there it does take a lot of it's not something that it's, it's just going to be all of a sudden whether you're just enlightened you know there's a process to that you know there's some some shadow work that's needing to be done some inner child healing some things that we keep keep kind of buried deep down in our subconscious until the, the energies feel like it's time to them for them to be revealed and for us to get into this sense of sense of growth here and i even feel it's interesting i'm kind of looking at this dog and i you know sometimes when dogs get kind of fixated on a scent and they're like locked down they start really kind of digging i feel like they're like keeping that tenacity of this canine here their cancer and i feel like after after we start learning ourselves deeper there's this sense of peace that comes through there with this with this meditation here but let's go ahead and get some uh, get some tear on this and get some details And I don't know if you can hear them in the background there, Cancer, the, the neighbor's doing something with the shovel. I, I have no idea. So he's doing a little digging in there. <laughs> Love it. Actually, keep doing what you're doing. Because look at that, Cancer. Look how, look how things are lining up with the energies. He's doing some the signifier. I'm taking that as a sign there, Cancer. I love that. <laughs> It's very rare when the when the environment works out in my favor. So we're working with that, Cancer. <laughs> Dope. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Cancer, let's see what's going on here. All 
All right, Cancer. So you have the Four of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, and then the Queen of Swords here, Cancer. And let's start with this Eight of Pentacles because I feel that it's like how she's kind of playing around with these different potions here. I feel like this digging deep and learning about yourself is like this trial and error type of period. You know, I feel like it's as you begin to, it's interesting with this four of pentacles. I feel like as we begin to unlock different parts of ourselves here, cancer and start learning these different facets, it, it brings about this clarity of yourself. You know, I feel like you really begin to come into your skills start really start honing your manifestation but it is something that i feel like it's it takes time you know within takes patience and perseverance with the knight of pentacles being here and i feel with the knight of wands where it can be an exciting road to go on that kind of spiritual journey there you know that it is I feel like not trying to force this stuff. Like, you know, you may be thinking that you're ready to fight, face dragons there, Cancer, <laughs> with how this Knight of Wands here is getting ready. But I do feel like that if you're, if you don't feel ready to jump into this experience yet when we're digging into those deeper kind of things that like this four of pentacles is like see how this guy's kind of guarding this chest and if there's something that you're not ready to face that is absolutely okay and you 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 treat yourself with that compassion as well and meet yourself where you're at on your journey you're exactly where you need to be but i do feel that a great way to start is even just acknowledging that this thing is there and that we are ignoring it you know but it's like it just in in the in the idea of that we're going to get to it later in a sense you know just just acknowledging its its presence in a sense and i feel too even with like how this person is digging it's like i feel like we don't want to keep you know it's it's interesting like it's like we want to keep it's like something's trying to get unearthed here cancer you know like hmm And, you know, it may not feel like it in the moment, Cancer, especially when you're going through the, when you're fighting dragons and facing these challenges here. But that really is a time to, is a time to celebrate because there's growth that's happening. There's healing that's happening. And then I feel like when you start to dig these things up there, Cancer, things start to surface and you're able to apply that nurturing energy that you have because, you know, we're the nurturers of the Zodiac, the mothers of the Zodiac. And I feel that it's, it's like we may have, huh, you know, we may have when we buried these crystals here, let's say these crystals are what's been unearthed here, Cancer. They may have started out as these little, little rocks, you know, just something, something like kind of simple, something kind of like the, the, it's like the more sort of like what we may label as like an uglier side and things but really there's a lot of beauty when we allow that pressure there and things to i don't want to put that it's like this pressure that's turning these these things into diamonds but i feel like my analogies are a little all over the place cancer but i hopefully you're uh hopefully that 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 makes sense there but i like that cancer that's a cool little start Let's get a little bit more energy on this cancer. Hmm, interesting. All right, cancer. Oh, interesting. This is like happened. Fascinating, Cancer. This has happened quite a bit today. I've done a few readings, and there's been a lot of a lot of divine counterparts in the in the mix. And this is the second time that these two have popped up, because you have the King of Swords, the Strength card, and then the Wheel of Fortune here, Cancer. And I feel like with hubby being here, that there is this, there's this wisdom that does come with this energy cancer when you do put in this work and begin to understand yourself on this deeper level. And I feel that there are 
a lot of opportunities that even come your way here with this wheel of fortune as the as you as you unearth these things and grow and it start to expand i feel like you don't it's not like we're I don't know. It's just like I feel like we're not as limited as what this 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 wheel of fortune energy is giving me is giving me here. But I feel that there's a courage that's going to be needed with the strength card, of course, in order to deal with whatever these things that were that were that we've kept kind of buried down deep here. Oh, ooh, Cancer, I actually forgot one card. I thought you had one more card here. You also got the Ten of Swords here, Cancer, which is kind of that card of hitting that rock bottom in a sense and i feel there are going to be moments there with the ten of swords where these things that we that get revealed are going to really kind of challenge us they may bring us down in a sense and look at how this thing's just running <laughs> this is figure here's just kind of fleeing the scene but i do feel that with whatever that it is that we discover about ourselves it's not meant to hinder you cancer it's meant to again help you learn more about yourself and you know for for example that cancer and it's it's it can be even just sort of random how it pops up and i actually hadn't um it's been a little bit since i since i thought about it. i'm kind of giving that a little time to breathe because i i had a I had a thought, like a memory pop up not too long. I was thinking back for my uh, childhood and yeah, I had a memory pop up and I was really kind of thinking about it. I'm not quite sure where the where that was coming from as far as like what was happening in that situation and why it was happening. And I'm s still kind of sitting with that and trying to figure out what that means, but and that's sometimes how it can look like. You know, you may kind of dig up something and then just sort of set it to the side. Like how this guy had kind of put these crystals out. It's just like, mm, like that's that, that's a great point. <laughs> but these are some bigger crystals that we're not wanting to deal with. You know, maybe there's some other, some smaller ones that we can tackle here first. But I do feel sooner or later, as we begin to comprehend the significance of these, these, these things that kind of come to the surface there, Cancer, I feel that it's like we come to see it for the growth that it's, it's, it's like, I almost feel like this wheel of fortune is like giving me this sort of like hindsight is 2020 type of, uh, type of energy where at the time we, you know, when it happened or whatever had happened, you know, it wasn't ideal, but it, it, it applied it i don't know it's like it, it was a piece of a break it's becoming like this bigger piece of the puzzle in the long term here and yeah and i just feel like there's really just making sure to just kind of sit with these things that come up with you can to meditate on on these thoughts because there's something that hmm I don't know, it can be the source of something really wonderful, something really abundant in the long term, although it may at the at the at the time may have been where we were sort of either at our lowest in the sense of like maybe we we're struggling in a sense or maybe even when we were operating from a lower vibration there, Cancer. So And I even feel with the Ten of Swords here, there's one more thing, because this can be a card of betrayal. Or just like a, it's like a, this deep hurt in a sense, and I feel like there may even be an understanding of under understanding like people's motivations or, or motives behind their thoughts and things, and kind of seeing things. And it may, and it's not if there's say that's something you know not so uh, not so wonderful that it happened, cancer. It's not necessarily absolving them of what they what they've done, or for, you know like taking away from their. Um, you know, excusing their behavior, but I do feel that there is, you when you come to understand that and learn to forgive that type of energy, whatever this thing that may have transpired, that it helps you a little bit lighter there, and again, brings you that sense of peace, and then we can really kind of put whatever that energy is to, to rest in a sense, but, hmm. And again, Cancer, don't try not to, you know, this is not something I'm telling you like to do this, to do this shadow work there, Cancer. No, just as it, as it makes sense there, so. But, um, 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave that there, Cancer. Let's get some um let's get some advice from good old Saturn. Cancer. Ooh, last little bit here. There's my girl. <laughs> She's been popping up around a lot here too. So you have the Seven of Wands, the Page of Swords, the Page. Oh, the Page of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Empress here, Cancer. And let's switch back over, because with this energy, Cancer. I do feel with the Empress that there is, because the Empress is this nurturing motherly energy that she has. She's a culmination of all of the queens, and I feel that there are some, hmm, I feel there, hmm. I almost feel for some with the Seven of Swords here that there's this defensive Ness that's coming through here and it's almost like that we're feeling it's almost like that we're feeling challenged in a sense like when a certain idea gets gets brought up and it, it brings about some sort of like old emotions here because the pages can be youthful this this like childlike type of energy that kind of inner child type of um type of work there and because I'm got a got a little uh little wave a little small little wave there cancer and it it just it feels like it felt like almost like a three of swords like a sadness or type of energy that if you find yourself like and it's like we're just a sort of on guard here or just like overly just like I don't know like cancer there's this There might be this sort of challenge here. There be a there may be a challenge here when we think about something that may have transpired that we're kind of digging up that we may you may have done something possibly. I'm just we're just you know just kind of brainstorming here, Cancer. That's some, because it's like something is being revealed here with the Sun card. We're shining some light on some things, and we may have had a certain thought in the past or had may have been operating a certain type of way that doesn't resonate with us now but you know we're maybe kind of as we're reflecting on maybe what how we may have acted or some, some things maybe some old regrets and things i feel that it's it's not letting that past define you because we all make mistakes cancer i mean it's you know it, it happens but those mistakes are an opportunity for you to grow to expand with the ace of pentacles here and to try something new and to come into just a higher vibration here with the sun and create these type of newer memories here and that's interesting cancer because Cause I'm even kind of getting for some here, just because you got a lot of, uh, got a lot of, got a lot of pregnant figures here with the with the empress here and this this woman that's dancing around in the sun, that I feel like there's some traumas that are just needing to be brought to light. I don't know how how long ago this this was, but I feel like there's a certain there's an a, a chance to. It's like seeing things from a fresher perspective now that you've grown into this this new Cancerian, you know, now we can see what was being taught with us when we were more inexperienced here with these with this page of cups, page of swords type of energy there and And I feel even with the seven of wands here, because this can not to be overly critical of what you do find when you're doing these deep dives there cancer about yourself and even about the people who may have been involved or situations that you know or places that may have been involved in these these um these activities here so 
Yeah, I hope that that makes sense, Cancer. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna leave that there, so. But, uh, did, if anything resonated with you, Cancer, give it a thumbs up. And share this, Cancer, if you know someone who's been needing to just kind of meditate on these, on these sort of, um, these deeper things and yeah, maybe you've just been kind of ignoring something or just kind of make, maybe their moon's in Capricorn and they've just been kind of pushing things back and it's just like, no, Cap. Let's <laughs> but yeah, definitely share this, Cancer. And then uh, subscribe there, you uh, Queen of Swords. I don't know why I'm calling you Queen of Swords. I feel like I've literally been saying Emperor and Empress almost all week. So uh, yeah, subscribe there. Hit that bell button. Get notified on all these videos each. Uh... Oh, I thought you had all the Swords family. But I mean, you got a good... And you know... Just a sidebar there, Cancer, even though while I'm thinking about that. Because sometimes the King and the Queen of Swords, they can be seen as this kind of colder type of couple, in a sense. And the fact that they got their youngest child here, the Page of Swords, there may even been an upbringing, or may have been some that had this understanding, this upbringing, this coldness, and why there may have been, maybe even understanding how some parental figures may have, or just some sort of like, may have operated in their understanding their thought process in a sense and even coming with that sort of level of compassion which which is hard cancer but believe me i i because I, I feel like cancerians we have um family is a very important thing for us and whatever that looks like not even just like your um your paternal family but this, this is another little thing that just kind of stuck out to me there cancer and then last little bit for your readings, Cancer, check out your sun, moon, rising, Venus, uh, signs, but you know, Cancer, because I love that you got your sun, your rising, yeah, that's, uh, sun, excuse me, you got your sun and your Venus there, but, um, yeah, but check your chart there, Cancer, get to understand yourself a little bit more, a lot, a lot a bit more, actually, Cancer, and then come on over to my other channel, the, um, Alchemist State, I do weekly videos, monthly ones, yearly ones, and it's a good old time, Cancer. And all that housekeeping is down in the description box below. But let me get your surprise cards here. Ooh, so I can get you out of here. And you got, here's your moon sign there, Cancer. Well, actually, this is just the moon. This is Pisces. <laughs> Front. I'm pretending to be the moon. I'm kidding. I was coming at Pisces for that. But I do feel with this Cancer... The moon is a very, it's a, it's can be a very dark card, you know, in the sense of like journeying into that sort of like those dark, unexplored places that we haven't been to in maybe in some time that, because you see how this cat is kind of looking at its reflection. There's this kind of panther that's in the, in the waters here. I feel like there's some almost like some, I don't want to say, I feel like monsters feel really kind of, kind of a, kind of a strong word there, Cancer, but I do feel like there are some things that, yes, sorry, that's just starting to get me a little emotional there, Cancer, but I do feel that as you, as you learn to greet these kind of darker sides, again, of yourself, and showing those sides, that nurturing, compassionate, empress energy that you have, because after the, after the moon, is the is the sun i feel this is like your 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 higher self here trying to you know we're like in the new moon phase right now and your higher self is trying to guide you to this full moon here and get you to this level of understanding but we need to journey into that unknown and start to do start to dig dig deeper there cancer in order to find this the source of even some sort of like actions that we may do some sort of habits or whatever that may look like their cancer so but let me get your um let me get your other oracle card here so i can get you out of here okay. oh how fascinating cancer so you have the facing fear card here and this is a card of courage and inner strength. And I mean, Cancer, you got ba basically double strength that's going on here. And courage to face these, these whatever these fears are, whatever these things that we've been keeping deep, keeping tucked away. And they may, they may seem kind of frightening there, Cancer, whatever that's looking like. They may make you feel 
some kind of way and that's okay it's okay to feel that and, and understand that cancer because I feel that when you when you have that emotional wisdom it really does not just help you heal but then it helps those around you heal as well you can be that 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 source of guidance for others those close around you when they need help digging deep and offering advice and when they're on that that sort of solo shadow work there cancer so you know something something terrifying you know i know if i say terrifying again these are I feel those are kind of intense words but something you know that we may have been afraid afraid of can become something very beautiful you know in the long in the long run there because even though the moon is a the, the moon card is considered the scariest card of the major arcanas the moon is just reflecting the sun's light and it's just it just things just look differently in the nighttime but you know that doesn't mean we can't face these inner demons or whatever that's looking like there cancer you know face that panther love that panther <laughs> But I think I'm going to leave that there, Cancer. A little something to think about. But you stay safe out there. You know, when you're doing these meditations and digging deep and, you know, learning this a lot about yourself. And I feel like don't feel if, if you know, if we need to get into, because um, maybe even too, maybe we need someone to kind of help process this stuff here with this Queen and King of Swords there. To kind of have uh, someone who's can give that sort of detached um explanation and things so something to think about that cancer you keep eyes on the moon feel the feel the moon you know we're, we're in the darkest phase of the lunar cycle right now you know but it's all uphill here from cancer you know we're gonna get to that that full light and i will catch you on the next one tomorrow